here. It's day one of the wall transformation. Today, honestly, we're not going to actually get to the wall. Goose, is that you? Sniffing under the door. Is that a wild goose? My game plan is to get this entire area cleared out so I have space to work when I get the design sketched, which I also have to work on today. I do have an idea on what type of design I wanna put, the colors, the placement. We'll see how it turns out. By the way, the switch plate used to be this really ugly kind of yellowy off-white color, so it is now a really pure white. That's why it's taped off around it, if you were wondering. Hey, Leo. Oh, no. Be nice. Oh, <laughs> Leo, it's okay. <laughs> he just wants to love you, buddy. He just wants to love you. As you can see, this room is now an extreme disaster, even more so than before, and I can't sit at my desk. So instead, I'm gonna be sitting out here in the living room, and I have this makeshift chair desk. By the way, these chairs came with the house and they need to be reupholstered. So I think I'm gonna do a DIY for that in the future. I say chairs because there are two. I'm actually really happy about this because I get to sit on this nice soft chair and have Netflix or Hulu or whatever I wanna watch on in the background. And yeah, this is, this is nice. So I'm not mad about it. Also, I did take a picture of the room so I know what I'm working with. After I do the sketch, I can kind of just block in the door and the vent and the outlets and see how it'll look. The sketching has begun. I started watching a new show called Ratched. I am a huge fan of American Horror Story. I'm really liking this so far. It has Sarah Paulson and it's just really creepy. So I'm loving it, I'm on episode two. Also, I started decorating for fall, which I am showing you here, but now let's get back into the process of the wall. I've had these braids in for four days now. We're just gonna roll with it. More importantly, I was able to complete my design sketch yesterday. So this right here is gonna be going on the wall behind me. My plan for today is to grab a pencil and get everything sketched out. At least the giant uh, swirl part, the black and white like swirl lines and then the paint splatters. This corner above the door is gonna end up being splatter paint. That'll be a lot of fun. I'm gonna do a mandala, which will be either like silver or gray and then maybe have pastel rainbow inside. I haven't decided yet. And then this part of the wall, I want to be some sort of glitter or maybe holographic. I'm not positive yet, but I have everything figured out basically aside. My nails look atrocious. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's awful. Anyway, that's what the plan is and I can't wait to make it come to life. These are my initial pencil lines. It's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna adjust it in editing as best as I can the contrast so you can see the pencil lines. Anyway, I don't have them up high enough. I feel so I'm going to erase everything and try to get them above the vent or at least like going through it because right now it's going to end up underneath and I don't like that. I don't want the paint drips to be that long. I want them to start higher up. So got some work to do. It's really hard to draw on the wall. It's all squiggly, but it's gonna end up way better when the paint goes on, I hope. I had to erase and redraw these giant curved lines so many times. Part of the reason for my struggle has to do with the dimensions of my sketch being wider than the actual wall, meaning the wall space I was working with is more square while the sketch is rectangular. So the slope of the waves had to change a little bit. But 
The fake drips, on the other hand, were a breeze to get through. Now to clean all the eraser dust. The remnants of my mistakes gotta say goodbye. After vacuuming the carpet, I moved on to taping the wall to protect the trim and the ceiling. Please excuse the awkward angle of my booty in these upcoming seconds. Sometimes this happens when you are your own camera person. <laughs> Uncensored footage can be viewed on my OnlyFans, by the way. I got everything taped yesterday and I'm about to start on the black and white which is going to go on the bulk of the wall for the swirly parts. I wanted to do the color drips first but I think I'm gonna need more paint especially because I only have these little ones in yellow and light orange and I don't really wanna mix my own colors if I can avoid it because then if I run out, I'll have to mix more. Those colored paints are gonna to have to cover this entire corner and all the way up to the top above the vent. I'd rather be safe than sorry and go out and get those. I think there's about less than half in here. So I figure I'll start with these. I have two sets of tape on the bottom. I forgot yesterday that we had this plastic with the tape attached. With just the drop cloth alone, the trim wasn't protected and then there was a gap between the carpet and the, the cloth. So I figure just to be more protected, I'll put this drop cloth over the plastic. Now the real fun begins. I have been wanting to do this for so long. While painting, I followed the guidelines for the most part, but I wasn't too worried about going outside the lines. All this can be tweaked and touched up later, and trust me, it was. That's a wrap for tonight. I realize it looks pretty messy at this point, but that's okay. Who is it? I'm about to head into Michael's to get some different colors of paint. There is a coupon for 20% off every regular priced item today. So it's kind of picked over, but we're gonna make it work. I mainly came for this color. I looked it up online before that it was in stock. There's only one of these. I really don't want to mix though. I found this purple tube. These are the tubes that I got. I gotta go back home and get ready to go to the park. So I'm gonna be hanging out by the ceiling today, working on one pastel color at a time, starting with this plate of pink. Hopefully I don't spill it. This might not have been a good idea, but I am going to be doing the drips. Update, I already messed up. I labeled each one. Well, not each one. That's the reason I messed up. So I labeled every other one or every three. For the first set of colors, the first six, I'm just doing two drips for each, but then I moved to three. So instead of just writing the letter on every single one, I'm like, I'll write it on the last one of every set. So we have purple here and then it's supposed to start pink, pink, pink. And I had the P here for pink, but I accidentally put that as the first one and then did this group of three, which no, this is supposed to be orange and this is supposed to be orange. And then yeah, there we go. So 
tried to save myself a little time by not writing the letters on everyone and it backfired. Even if we completely ignore the mess up, these drips were still the most tedious and time consuming aspect of this entire wall design. I'm normally right handed, but if you pay close attention, you'll see that I switched to using my left hand as much as possible, which was whenever I wasn't doing a lot of detail. My right shoulder and elbow were feeling really sore. If you're enjoying this video so far and you want to see me transform the entire room, give this video a thumbs up, click like, and also don't forget to ring the bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video here. Doing the black painted detail around these paint drips has taken about 45 minutes so far. So you guys are not gonna get a time lapse for this because I'm barely one third of the way in and that would just be really boring to watch and I don't want to film it, so this is what you get. I see an air vent and I want it painted black. After two days of work, I finally got all of the paint drips outlined and also around the white wave. I do have to fill in the black of course, but I am going to work on this corner first and paint white. I have some sore arm muscles. Actually, they feel good today, but that's why I've been going pretty slowly with it. This is where we are right now. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have to paint the vent still. So I have to take that outside to spray paint it and I have so much to do with touch-ups and detailing. At this point, I actually still have no idea what I wanna do with this part of the wall. So I worked on white trim and of course I'm going to fill in the rest of that nasty tan color and just go from there. I also was working on just filling in this area because there was a gap with the wall color and future me is going to have such a tough time with the detailing and touch-ups because I was really messy but I knew I would have to do touch-ups. Like look at all this left still, this is not going to be fun. I decided to switch to a brighter pink. Super happy with this decision. I just wanted to show you the difference there and just how much better it looks, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think, but I just think that this one was way too light and too close to the purple. Every single color needs a second coat. Matches your shirt. Now for some satisfying tape peeling. I finally decided what I want to do with this part of the wall here. I went ahead and mixed some really light pastel rainbow colors and I'm going to just do a gradient there. I'm here now in my unfinished attic. I wanted to show you guys since I don't know how many of you know that this even exists in the house. So I have this wild dream that's actually, it's going to become reality to be able to hire a construction team to convert this entire space into an art studio. There's so much potential up here, more walls for me to paint, hint, hint, but it's going to take a while for me to be able to raise the funds for that. So I'm gonna have to expand the Soulcraftastic brand by bringing in some 
merch and possibly moving over to Patreon and doing some stuff over there. So my question to you guys is what kind of merchandise would you possibly be interested in? I can go on over to Teespring and design some hoodies, t-shirts, phone cases, whatever else they have available. I really want to do enamel pins, stickers, maybe art prints. If there's any brands who are watching who may be interested in sponsoring an entire renovation series, let me know. Also, I am in the Northwest Ohio area if anyone wants to collaborate in any way. After only about 15 minutes, I am already finished with this part of the wall. It's the quickest addition by far, but also it really adds a lot and I think that it was important to get rid of the white there and add some more contrast. And now I can work on smoothing the black edge and making that nice and crisp. From far away, you can't really tell, but I do want to just change the shape a tiny bit and widen some areas. So here's the before and the after. Now it is finally time for the splatter paint. This entire corner is sealed off and the entire door is covered with plastic. So let's throw some paint. I'm nervous because if I mess it up, I have to paint over everything again. And here we go. Oh my gosh, wait. Stop it. Oh, that was so cool. I'm sweating right now and I think that there's paint in my hair, but I am pretty happy with this. Oh, more paint in my hair. <laughs> it is way too hot for this hoodie. I would have rather just gotten paint all over my skin, but look. Probably could have extended the plastic over more because there is paint on the wall. Some of it got through this corner, which Craig told me to be careful with, but I do see some behind there. It's right there. And some got on the mural. I added even more splatters. I found that the best way to do it is actually just squeeze the paint on your fingernails and knuckles and then flick out. And that worked so much better than the paintbrush or the shot glasses, like the plastic cups that I used. I don't know if that exists anywhere in like art hack videos, but it needs to. Otherwise, I just touched up the pastel rainbow along this black part and I did touch up all the um, splatter, like the colored splatters that got into the black areas. I still have to do a couple in the white and I have to paint the screws black still, so. That's what we have going. Leo is in here playing with a wooden dowel. Bamboo skewer. <laughs> He's got it in his mouth. Hi. It is just after 9 p.m. and I am drawing doodles with this Posca paint pen. It is currently two days later and I'm about to rip down the plastic, take off the tape, and give you guys the big reveal. Yes, I am wearing the same shirt, same hair, haven't washed the paint out of it. I just thought this would look cute for the thumbnail, that's all. First, I wanna show you an up close of the Posca paint pen doodles. Every single section of the paint drips had to have between two and four coats of paint. Most of them needed three, the green needed four. It just would not go on opaque enough. So I should have gotten a different green. I don't really like that color and I might change it in the future. Also, I added this white yesterday so the vent wasn't cutting into the white stripe here. I extended the width of some of the curves. It's not perfect yet, which you will see when I zoom all the way out. I definitely could still manage to do a few hours of touch-ups, maybe a couple days worth, but I am pretty happy with it. I'm so glad that I made you guys wait a few extra days. I know probably not all of you are glad, but I made some changes that I'm very happy with. Like I said, there's probably a few more hours of work that I could do to change a little bit with this white stripe and make it maybe go out further. Let me know what you guys think. I'm excited that I get to look at this every day now and I want to put some decor on the wall. I want to transform this entire art studio. Recently I got this rug. It's a blue, like a turquoise blue shag rug. I might want to get something black and white, so 
There's gonna be lots of changes in here. Okay, yeah, definitely wanna change this up, get something bigger, probably a black and white pattern. Maybe a sofa would look good here, like a velvet sofa, I don't know. Guys, give me your ideas, but I love this so much, just not for in here. So I'll move it somewhere else or just use it for photo shoots, I don't know. I have a couple updates for you all. So this giant box here, I just got in the mail and it's from Jazza and it's his giant new art box collection. I forget the official name, but that'll be up for the next video. I will open all three boxes. And secondly, I have started up my vlog channel again, which is Live Love Sarah Lynn. I'll put the link in the description and in the iCard up in the corner. If you guys wanna see behind the scenes and you wanna see more footage and just more of me because I have not been able to post here super regularly. I'm gonna be working on that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hope you're excited to see this.